Hit the gas. Welcome back to Midtown, y'all. We in the shop right now. Getting ready to go put some cubes out to the cows. Got a couple calves tagged this morning. And we got a black body calf. What's special about that? I got black cows and black bulls. So that means the neighbor's bull come through the fence and bred one of my cows. That's a plus, it's a free calf. So I said I got black cows. Where's he at? All right. Bulls are back there somewhere. And black bulls. But we do have a couple of black bodies. One over there. But all their calves they've had so far, solid black. The new black body calf is on, where's she at? 23 is what had her. Well, 23 is a solid black cow. Like this cow, solid black. There we go. He was in the back by himself, so I brought him back up here with other cows. He was trying to bolt and run, run when I tagged him. I don't want him to do that, I want him to stay with these other cows. We got one more, one more to calf, one more to calf. One more to tag and then we're gone. black body calf. Tag the bag, so uh, I'll catch up y'all in just a little bit. All right. Went to hook up my my log, uh, my little log boom pole, and I realized that when we unhooked a post hole digger, that my top link pin was broke. The pin's fine, it's just broke the little cover. So, I'm about to get that thing straightened out. There we go. I got my gap. I got my gap set on it now. Let's 
straight enough. So that's your little log boom pole. You got spot to hang chains. Spot to leave your clothes at. It's where you either hook your chain or your strap to to drag logs. It uh it works pretty good. <clears throat> so we basically just copied what a skitter does. How skitters drag logs well is they hold one end off the ground. If you can get one end off the ground. You can drag a lot bigger log than you won't need to. Got to gather some chains up. So I got everything loaded up. I got a chain holder on the back. I got a chain holder on the front. I got my clubses. Got my strap. It's lunchtime now. I'm going to go get a bite of lunch and we'll go drag some logs. Finally getting ready to get into the woods. Had to go pick my pallet forks up. So last year, or back in the summer, we were using bucket pallet forks. You can see them in the opening of the video. So I got me a regular set of pallet forks, except this is an old bush hog style loader that is not quick attach, as you can see. So I had it modified to fit on here. I bought this and my good, my good friend John fixed them for me. So we're gonna try them out. We got white oak right there, white oak over there. I think we're gonna take the fence out right here. And uh, go from there. Well, folks, I think I'm going to call it here for today. It's getting late. It's about supper time. I need to go pick kids up and whatnot. You know, we got a, we got a decent start. I mean, we got two, four, six, eight, ten. We got ten little logs. I mean, I, I got some little bitty ones right here. I had to cut them to make my driveway in. And uh, what's taking so long right now is getting my driveway cut in. You know, but that's how, that's how it starts. It always starts out slow. So, if uh, y'all are enjoying stuff, remember to like and subscribe. Drop a comment if you feel like it. And like always, if the good Lord's willing, we'll catch you on the flip side. Until the next.